for your first time? I, I very much, and this is this will be uh, this will be misconstrued as a quote if you just read it. But I, I very much have a uh, I can't wait till it's over kind of feeling thing. You know, not that I'm. Uh, uh, I want to get it. I, I want to get it over with because I'm, I'm ready. I feel ready. I'm prepared. Uh, and being here every day for like five hours a day has made me feel that way. So it, it feels uh, it feels nice. There's like a relief. There's a there's like a calm. I'm excited. A little bit of nervous energy, but it's all positive. Does does part of that have to do with the expectations that are on you for this fight from? Everybody from your peers in the UFC, from the fans? Uh, you know, that's like a case-by-case -case basis. I don't know what the expectations are. I know what my expectations are. I know what my team and my coach, what they expect out of me. Um, and I think it depends on what corner of uh, you know the media or the Internet you look at to see what the expectations are. People expect me to get knocked out. People expect me to get starched in you know, 30 seconds. People, some, and the people who know, who see me work here every day, they expect me to win. What are your expectations? My expectations are to win. Uh, go out there, uh, whether it goes three rounds, whether it goes three seconds, uh, my hand will get raised. That's what I expect. I expect to, to show up uh, best shape of my life, happiest I've ever been, and happy looking in the mirror before the fight, knowing job well done. I mean, it's been a pretty long road, you know, and, and it's funny because you can, you can ask yourself, you know, uh, Oh, what happens if I lose? What happens if I get embarrassed in front of the world? Uh, and then you think to yourself, well, you, you shit yourself on national television before, so how bad can it go? How bad can it really be? What's the worst thing that can happen? Um, and I tend to think of uh, this entire journey, uh, it being more about that journey and discovery about yourself and making new connections with coaches and friends and teammates. Uh, than it is the, the final destination. But for me, if I never did this, I'd still be walking around with a herniated disc. And uh, the thing about being a, a wrestler is you're your own worst enemy. You just keep going. And I was in here every day, and I just kept going, and I just kept going. And I could make excuses like, oh yeah, okay, okay you, know, you know, my back's just sore. Uh, these guys are better than me, they're faster than me. You know, like, uh, I'm just, maybe I'm just getting old. I'm not as strong as I used to be. And then once, <laughs> Once I got diagnosed with the herniated disc, and it was like, you can't even get a shot to fix this. You got to get this thing cut out of yourself. It, it wasn't even so much like disappointment or, or depression or, or anything. Like I was, I was elated. And then I came back in the gym, uh, and I was a completely different person. So, you know, what's the worst thing that can happen? The worst thing that can happen is I, I get back surgery, and I feel like my whole self again. And my dog's all over television, and he's pretty awesome. And, you know, I, I, I just. I just look at everything, I guess, uh, differently than everybody, you know. So the, the, the footage that everybody's seeing, you know, uh, and criticizing, uh, yeah, absolutely, 100%. I was, I, was, I was operating on, you know, 25% power. I know Mickey's tough, but this is really a battle against you against yourself. Could you touch on that? Yeah, uh, you know, there's only probably one guy that you, you can't find more tape on than Mickey and it's me so I think the the fight's intriguing but you know w w without sounding disrespectful to him this is this is my story you know so uh, this is about me wanting and almost needing to do something uh, just to prove to myself that I can you know there, there's there's people out there that like I've said they you know they hope I lose uh, and there's people out there that realize that once I step into the acting out, I've already won, you know. And and for me, uh, I'll probably say this a dozen more times today. It's not about the destination; it's about the journey. And that, to me, is a microcosm of life. You know, it's not about the diploma you get after six or four years of, of college. It's about it's about learning and the experience you gain during those years and the people you meet and the, the bonds and the connections you make uh, along that way. I